this is um since somebody requested this is how i draw eyes so basically i'm gonna try and fit this in really quickly so the shape of the eye obviously if you're going by reference um will vary from person to person like this is more my cartoony eye these two are a little bit more realistic um this one kind of just a semicircle like this one but it sticks out more at the end so it kind of just make a shape like that it's hard to draw the camera <laughs> and then this one would just make a shape like this really simple semicircle this just goes up down and then the i forgot what this is called okay it's fine <laughs> we just make a long c shape so basically just obviously the length of it very the length and the width of it varies from person to person but usually if i'm just drawing with pencil i shade these in if you want me to show you with color i will do that but not in this video um also eyelids obviously vary from person to person this one would go down and then up kind of just how that one is this one would be really close to the eyelid this one would be farther with maybe a little bit more wrinkles considering it's more circular um now for the actual eye it's just parentheses okay just make two cute little parentheses just boom boom okay don't make them that dark but you know lightly do it and then you can just shade it in now i you don't have to um blend it out but if you do want to i use a brush because i feel like it blends easier than using a blending stump because it won't like pick up anything like like that nothing's transferring okay maybe a little bit but you know it's fine and um so you just shade it in you can blend it if you want you don't i've heard that q-tips blending stumps um cotton balls work anything like that maybe a tissue you can use any of those um and then you can just color in the pupil like that and eyelashes um eyelashes are difficult and simple at the same time oops okay so basically eyelashes i'm gonna make the shape of the eye right here eyelashes will go in the direction of the eye they will be pretty thick normally at the end and over here will be kind of thin usually there's one that just goes straight up in the middle and you kind of just build off of that now lashes curve so when you're doing it, you have to make sure that they do curve, okay? And draw the rest of the eye right here. Okay. Now these are really big lashes. And you also want to add little loops down here because they're coming out, okay? They're coming out. And then usually people have like a really thin line where it's like white right here. It's kind of darker. That's where your bottom lashes are going to go. Now they're not actually going to touch the eye. They're going to be right below it. Okay. And usually they make a shape like this. Where it's kind of like an upside down triangle. Now, obviously, there are singular ones, but a lot of these do connect with other ones. These kind of suck, but yeah, you get the point. They go in the direction.
section and you know they speak they get thinner at the top thicker at the bottom okay and um, for these just the trainers and yeah and um highlights in the eye and depth so basically if you want to do like a darker eye You want to um, shape in, usually it's the top part, but if you're going by reference, make sure you follow that. If it ends up getting too dark and it looks a little muddy, yeah, you can always use outlines, okay? Just don't make them too harsh. You're probably like, oh, that looks really good. But there's all there's obviously something missing. Now, if I don't have my white gel pen on me, you can always just erase. Now, uh, before I erase, I make sure to clean off my eraser because it looks like that. So, always just do that, and then you follow the highlight. Okay. But if you want a more defined one. I have this gel pen. And this is the Pentel Milky Pop gel pen. And you can just try it over. Also, a little dot there. Boom. Ta da! Now, there obviously can be some highlights in over here. And oh, the tear duct. That's what it's called. And you know how I said that there's a line? Well, if you're doing color, you don't want it to be perfectly white, so you can, like, color, and then touch it with your finger, and it will become lighter. It's what I did with this. I swear it's all pink. <laughs> um, but, yeah. I hope this helped. Oh, yeah, um, before I forget, shading the eyelid usually there's a shine gap in the middle and also shading this like the inside of the eye that goes in the eye usually starts from here because they cast the shadow from the um, eyelashes and there will usually be lines through the highlight because you can see the eyelashes so yeah i can't really do it on this oh i can Okay, it'll usually look like that, um, yeah, like that, and, but this doesn't actually have eyelashes, so, yeah, but I hope this helped, hopefully it wasn't confusing, but, um, yeah, that's how you draw an eye. Bye!